Hi guys, welcome to Shanks Wrestling Show and uh, I think today I'm going to uh, talk about best and worst bits about Money in the Bank's um, like past Money in the Bank pay-per-views and matches and stuff. So, well, first off, I've got to say the best bit about Money in the Bank pay-per-view was back in 2011 when CM Punk won the WWE title. That that match was awesome. I would I like to go watch that now and again, over and over again, because that match was good and the build-up was great with CM Punk's pipe bombs and stuff. So that that was. That was my favourite match of all time at a Money in the Bank uh, pay-per-view because I was so wanted CM Punk to win. Um, so best and worst like bits. Uh, as you know, I said the top ten, but like, well, top five uh, Money in the Bank winners. Uh, some. I do like some don't like so I don't like the when a bird Rio won it didn't like it uh, Kane I liked it but I didn't I like I like I liked it when he was world o8 champion again but it weren't that good John Cena it was all right and he, but he held held the briefcase and then uh, cashed in like War One Thousand War One Thousand I think, and he didn't really we, we knew about it anyway. After like he said, I'll cash it in this day. It was like Raw One Thousand against CM Punk, and he lost because didn't someone get involved or something? I think he did. Someone did. So it was one of the, there's only been two people who cashed in and lost lost the briefcase. Uh, there was another time that was John Cena and Damien Sandow. Damien Sandow could have been World Heavyweight Champion, but didn't. He, he cashed in and lost the <laughs> the match. Another person was a. Uh, Mr. Kennedy, he, well, he he won the mat, he won the uh, money in the bank, but um, backstage Triple H went to Vince McMahon and went, you know, uh, he's not ready, ready, yeah, and all that. So Mr. Kennedy put his uh, briefcase up, and Edge Edge won the won that match because it was against it was Mr. Kennedy versus Edge and whoever wins gets the uh, briefcase so Edge had had the briefcase twice but he didn't win the man in the bank so he didn't win back to back whatever but um only person who's won it back to back and twice is CM Punk so I like that um, Randy Orton, I was like, mm, I don't care, he, he, he's won World Heavyweight titles before, and I got pissed off who he cashed into, because it was Summer Sam 2013, it was John Cena versus Daniel Bryan, uh, John Cena had a big massive uh, lump on his elbow um, so he had to lose against Daniel Bryan because he was going off to surgery so Daniel Bryan won that match cause it was, I think it was John Cena's choice slash, slash people's choice and Daniel Bryan got the title match then uh, some reason it was like Triple H called out Randy Owen and that was the start of, like the authority and all that people. So I got pissed off at that. I 
I wanted Daniel Bryan to keep that title, but didn't. So I got pissed off at that. Um, Jack Swagger. That was awesome. That I like Jack Swagger when he was World Heavyweight Champion. That was that was right. I don't know why they didn't give him a, like another World Heavyweight Title shot like another time and wouldn't win it. He did get World Heavyweight Title shots, but not much. And he needs to. Then he got just fell down and become a job and all that. Um. Who else? Oh, he did. That was awesome. That was an awesome thing because we knew he cashed. What did he cash in? Cash it in? At, at, yeah, ECW were not standing. That was awesome. Edge was awesome. Um. So that's best and worst bits. More best than worst then. But Sandow, Sandow, Mr. Kenny, and but and Randy Orton was worse. But right, guys, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more, and that's it for my money and bank best and worst bits. I don't know where.